Valley is one of the very few schools which teaches urban planning in the undergrad and this gives us a huge boost in our grad school applications or professional world because most of the folks entering the planning field have never had planning courses. The program offers a lot of traditional geography such as cartography and then it also branches out into city and regional planning. My favorite part of the program is getting to have GIS experience. We get to, in a lab environment, really work closely with them. But then they're utilizing the skills they learn in a whole new context. I believe in the success of my students, and I think this is the most important, you know, the first step is just the, you know, believe that they can achieve anything they want. And I think that's contagious, you know, then they start believing as well. The faculty always supported everything we've done, and each one of them have become family to me. I think it's really engaging students, really helping them understand about their world. We have enough of time to know our students, to know their names, to know their faces. We had access to the ravines, which taught you about glaciation, these really important coastal landscapes. Grand Rapids is it been a very, really great showcase for teaching planning methods that are like right there, as well as you know being close to Lake Michigan, which has all of like environmental concerns, water quality concerns. Urban planning and geography matter because there are so many geographical and social issues that have answers that can be solved through good spatial analysis. When I tell people my degree is in geography, they look at me like, you can major in that? It's like, yes. And it's like they don't know that geography is everything that we do. Everyone uses Google Maps or a filter and that's all location-based data. You have tremendous imagery that we work with, even up to high resolution, 0.6 meters, two feet pixels. And this is all civilian stuff, right? We're not talking about the spy stuff. We're not even, you know, that's classified. We can't even talk about those. The field itself is very supportive of young planners. And so they're really looking to grow the next generation of planners. In preparing students for their career, it's really important giving them the current skills. So we are using ArcGIS, uh, Erdas Imagine, these are the kind of the state-of-the-art packages that employers are utilizing in the field. Then it gives them great employability. I work for the Staten Island Borough Office of the New York City Department for City Planning. I work at LEA, which stands for Land Information Access Association in Traverse City, Michigan. I've been obsessed with United Nations since I was a child. I was selected as a finalist for the internship program at the UN Habitat, and the internship itself was everything I could have imagined and more. And after that, I will be heading off to University of Oxford in the UK to pursue a degree in environmental change and management. I'm a GIS specialist at FTCNH. I work in our water wastewater department. I'm a planning aide for the city of Grand Rapids. I am a geospatial analyst. You know, I hope I can make cities more accessible to people, more equitable, and more environmentally conscious and friendly for future generations to come. Geography and urban planning principles are crucial. If we collaborate, we can shape cities in a better way towards a better future.